It started like any other morning in Shenzhen. Traffic moved, elevators dinged, office lights blinked on across the skyline. 17 million people going about their day, like they always do. But at 7.12 a.m., everything changed. A drone, launched by a hobbyist over the city's tech district, caught something no one had seen before. A long and wide crack. It didn't rumble, it didn't roar, it just appeared like the ground had opened its eyes. Hours later, something even more unsettling emerged. A time lapse from space. From May to July, Shenzhen had been shifting quietly until now. This isn't a construction flaw. This isn't aging infrastructure, but a tectonic movement visible from space and accelerating beneath the surface of one of China's most important cities. The government says nothing, but the ground doesn't wait for permission to move, and now it won't stop. The calm before the fracture. In late July, Shenzhen looks like a city in perfect motion. Subway stations hum. Morning traffic weaves through polished streets. Construction cranes pivot overhead like clockwork. Cafes spill over with students, delivery riders, and office workers. Everything feels normal, too normal. Then comes whispers, not words, but shifts, subtle, strange ones. A door that won't close, a window that used to slide perfectly now jams halfway. Tiles start buckling. Paint peels in thin diagonal lines that weren't there yesterday. In Longhua district, a man posts a video. He places a marble on his kitchen floor. The marble rolls, not toward a corner, not along a slope, just straight, in the wrong direction. Gravity feels confused, and so does he. In Nanshan, a shopkeeper notices a thin crack tracing the back wall of her inventory room. By morning, it's longer. By the next evening, it's split into two. She films it, uploads it, and tags the local council. No reply. Post removed within the hour. Online, the pattern builds. Clips from apartments, sidewalks, garages, all showing the same strange distortion. Floors curling, walls pushing inward, light fixtures swinging without wind. Some say it's the humidity, some blame poor construction. But deep down, people know better. It's not just one building or one block, it's spreading. And late at night, in group chats and forum threads, a single phrase begins to repeat. Why does it feel like the ground's breathing? The cracks go public. On the morning of July 29th, a drone hobbyist in Shenzhen launched his quadcopter over an industrial zone near Bantian. At first, it was just a routine flyover. Rows of factories, shipping lots, the same dusty skyline. But then, the camera caught something unnatural. A jagged fissure slicing through concrete, right across a six-lane service road. It wasn't a pothole, it was a rupture, clean, deep, and still growing. The video hit local social platforms before noon. By 12.43 p.m., it had over 10 million views across Weibo, Douyin, and private group chats. Engineers weighed in. Urban geologists started reposting close-ups of the footage. And then, without warning, the video vanished. Everywhere. But the damage didn't. That same evening, three new surface fractures appeared. One near a residential tower in Nanshan, another outside a middle school in Bao'an, and the third slicing straight through a shopping plaza's underground parking lot. Witnesses described the sound as a metal zipper being pulled open. Others felt it, the floor shifting beneath their shoes. A mother waiting for her son at tutoring class said it plainly. It's like something underneath is trying to tear the city open. Her voice shakes in the video. Behind her, the pavement is buckled. No one dares to cross, seen from space. On August 1st, the crisis reached an entirely new dimension. A private geospatial firm 
releases a time-lapse sequence of satellite images, capturing subtle land deformations stretching back months. From a distance, it's not just a crack, it's a pattern. The footage shows entire zones of the city shifting position, inch by inch. It had started long before anyone noticed the warped floors or jammed doors. Shock spreads faster than any official statement can contain. The western districts appear to be sinking slowly, while the eastern edges of the city are rising, creating a visible, unnatural torque. One analyst compares it to a massive piece of paper being twisted by invisible fingers. The city, once uniform and still, now seems caught in motion, moving against itself. The illusion of stable ground is shattered. This isn't a random set of structural failures. A GIS expert appears on an independent live stream and delivers the warning. This isn't surface damage. This is substructure deformation. This is tectonic. The word hangs in the air, heavier than any crack or collapse. Beneath the buildings, beneath the roads, something is moving, and no one is in control of it. Foundations fail. By August 3rd, the subway system becomes the city's first major casualty. Escalators stall without warning, trapping commuters in dim, unmoving shafts. Floor tiles are split open on platforms, revealing jagged seams beneath the surface. Entire stations begin to slope, with passengers forced to lean sideways just to stand upright. What was once level terrain now feels like the deck of a tilting ship. Street-level signs of the disaster grow impossible to ignore. Drain covers pop loose. Manhole lids hover above misaligned concrete. Sidewalks crack into geometric shapes, as if an invisible force is pushing upward from beneath. Traffic lights lane at odd angles. Some intersections are subtly impassable, not because of debris, but because the ground itself no longer matches the maps. At night, repair crews swarm the streets. But nothing is announced. No alerts. No press briefings. Just the low hum of generators and the flicker of welding arcs in the dark. Residents watch from windows as slabs of rope are pulled open like trap doors. A single leaked image begins circulating on Chinese social media before being scrubbed. It shows a gaping underground crack slicing directly beneath the metro support column. The concrete around it is jagged and fresh, not weathered. The caption simply reads, Zone 8, not stable. Within hours, copies of the image began spreading on private channels and mirrored servers. Off the record, engineers begin to speak out. One tells a local reporter, We're not repairing damage. We're chasing something that's still moving. Another confesses, There's no fixed point anymore. Every measurement changes by the hour. What the public sees as scattered failures, the professionals recognize as symptoms of something far deeper and far more alive. Human cost rises. In the heart of Futian, rows of mid-rise apartment blocks stand eerily half-lit. Some balconies are stripped bare. Others still have laundry swaying in the breeze, clothes left behind in the rush. Overnight, entire families are moved out without notice. By dawn, new silver fences block access, as if the buildings never housed anyone at all. Inside, what's left tells the story. Ceiling paint has curled into dry flakes. Tiles have lifted just enough to catch your shoe. The elevators don't hum anymore. They groan once, then die. Neighbors whisper through vents, but no one opens their door. Everyone feels it now. Something is shifting below. Late at night, walls creak like old ships at sea. Floorboards list slightly towards the window. Shoes roll toward the hallway without being touched. Mothers keep their children sleeping on the living room rug. It feels safer somehow to be closer to the ground. And even then, nothing feels steady anymore. One woman, maybe 30, maybe older, records her last walk through their unit. Her voice is thin, trying not to wake her daughter. Everything shakes now, she whispers. Then she stops, looks out the window at nothing in particular, and says softly, even the silence. 
the hills move. The hills northeast of Shenzhen Bay, once considered safe buffer zones, are now showing signs of shifting. Satellite imagery reveals accelerated movement in the terrain, like the ground is breathing under pressure. Locals living nearby report low, rumbling sounds echoing through the night. Not thunder, not trucks, something deeper, like the earth sliding against itself. One worker at a nearby construction site says he went to bed with bulldozers parked by the cliff. By morning, the machines were gone. The land didn't collapse suddenly. It disappeared slowly, like it had been pulled from beneath. It didn't fall, he tested his wife. It slipped. Now, multiple roads in the area are closed without notice. Concrete barricades appear overnight. No signs, no tape. Just silence and a heavy sense that something massive is shifting beneath everyone's feet. And no one wants to be the first to say it out loud. The red zone. As of 3 a.m., a 12-block stretch in Shenzhen's Nanshan district is sealed. No sirens, no evacuation orders, just the sound of metal barricades locking into place under floodlights. Drones hover above, police vans idle at intersections. By sunrise, a red plastic ribbon reading maintenance work, do not cross, flutters across the street. But residents know better. Inside the zone, ATMs frozen, shops half stocked. A pharmacy door was still swinging in the wind. A delivery driver trapped inside calls his brother and whispers, They aren't letting anyone out, not even us. All phone signals inside the zone begin dropping to zero bars. People switch to offline Bluetooth apps until those go silent too. One message leaks out before the blackout. It's not just cracks. The buildings are still moving. And then nothing. The line keeps growing. August 4th, 8 a.m. A fresh satellite passed from low orbit picks up something terrifying. A 9.4 kilometer rupture now cuts directly through Shenzhen, slicing from the hill of Longgang straight to the tech heavy sprawl of Nanshan. It's not a random break. It's a line, a line that grows. Beneath it, Taokan power substations flicker out. A buried gas main shows signs of stress. Entire fiber optic bundles, the digital veins of the city, are now marked unstable. City engineers fear this isn't just fragmentation, it's convergence. Separate cracks are forming a single path with deep structural failure moving with intention. And if the trend continues, they say the city may split in two. This story isn't over. The ground in Shenzhen is still shifting, and no one knows where the next break will be. Stay with us. Subscribe to Doomline, because when disaster strikes, we bring you the truth.